It's a mash bill battle. Boom, boom, boom. Early times verse 1924. Welcome back to another edition of Bourbon Kingdom. I'm David. And I'm Zach. And today we are going to uh, do a little bourbon battle with a single mash bill uh, from the old Brown Foreman lineup. Technically, well, yeah, it's Brown Foreman lineup, but technically this is Sazerac now. Yes, it is Sazerac now. So, um, you know, going back. going back to this video, there's a lot of comments about, oh, why would I buy this when I can just buy this instead? And it's... You know, I have three of these for one of these, and you get a lot more juice for the squeeze, I guess that would be. Yeah, I like it. A lot more um, juice for the squeeze. It's my, so, might be my new favorite saying now. So I've been thinking about that for a while. Yeah. And I was like, you know what? We haven't done a bourbon battle in a hot minute, and I like doing bourbon battles. You all don't tend to like watch a whole lot of bourbon <laughs> battles, so them. that's why we don't do them a whole but lot anymore. we like to drink, so like, we'll just I kind like of to enjoy compare them. to see what we like and what we don't like. True. So, True. Anyways, uh, go ahead and put in the comments below if you have thoughts on either one of these, if you think they're good, bad, or overrated, or which one you think should win Yeah, if it was you. Or and do the battle that, yourself and, and see what And hit the like, does. subscribe, notifications. For sure. All right. Just FYI, we're doing this totally blind. Um, we have done the review for the 1924, so please go watch that. Check that out. Yeah. We have not done a review for this, but I imagine if you just hit the little uh, search box up there, you find plenty of them. <laughs> yeah, there might be a few. Hmm. Me likey the smell of this one. Mm hmm Super charry and fruity. Yep. By the way, talking about mash bills, Dave was really, con he was really pushing hard to throw this into it. Uh... I mean, I'm not going to lie. I mean, it is the same mash bill between them. Why not? It could be just because I want to drink his uh, King of Kentucky. So We'll just say it would have won. Maybe. But I just wanted to sit there Maybe. and say I that mean, Dave was really trying hard here. It might win. It would win. Mm. Yeah, this one smells really, really good. Yeah, I was going to say the nose on it's great. Yeah. Really pleasant. Like, there's no... Nothing about it that I would change, I don't think. Very fruity. Yep. Really fruity. Got a little hint of a graham cracker in there. Like right in the 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 end of the palate. There is a um, it's like a well, first, there's some oak char kind of notes in there. It is fruity. There's also kind of like a little bit of like a cooked like fruit. Like almost like a barbecue, like if you were gonna have some kind of barbecue with fruit, like what, what are those called? Like shish kebabs and you yeah. put fruit on them? Like pineapples and stuff on yeah, them? Yeah, but not pineapples. Yeah, yeah, no. I'd... But yeah, like just like that little char that would be on there okay. if you were cooking it. Though, don't undersell the uh, grilled pineapples, boy. They, oh, I'm not, I'm not eating it. Ooh, Look, those we are so shish, good. We shish kebab yeah. oh, in this household, yeah. so I'm all about it. I like that. Yeah, I like that too. I like how it it, it has a. I, I I think all that sweetness just kind of stays on that on the finish of it too. It also coats really well. Now this is first pour of the day, yeah. and I I didn't expect that to coat as well as what it did. To be fair, yeah. it has a pretty decent finish. I don't think it's a long finish, but I like the I like the fruit. no, but I, think I like the fruitiness on the finish. Yeah, I just think it's really well balanced. You know what's crazy is those noses are really similar. I'm crazy, <laughs> crazy, I mean, crazy. You wouldn't expect that. Now this has been open. We basically reviewed this. What did we review the same day? That we got either it. the day it came out or the day after it came out yeah something like that this has been open for a hot minute a year and a half two years yeah something i don't know whatever it's been at least over a year so pretty big difference on the time it's that little air time you know once you get past the neck pour it's all the same <laughs> yeah. 
I want to go. I want to go around to all the distilleries and just ask them about neck pours one day as a video. I think it would be a fun video. So tell me, how different is the neck pour? <laughs> nope. Whatever's still in the neck just, stays there. Just solved it. Um. So it's like an oak. There's some oak, there's some, a little bit of chocolate, and then there's some bubble gum on it. That's weird, because I don't know where the bubble gum would have came from. Mm. I, I mean, the oak is... It's almost like a combination of, more, like... More prevalent. Like, really cheap, but, like, good quality bubble gum mixed in with, like, banana Laffy Taffy. Shake that Laffy Taffy. <laughs> <laughs> oh... I mean, this. I'm not offended by this one either. I think the nose is a little better on this one. No, this honestly reminds me of a couple. Now you're gonna hate that. Bring this up. This nose reminds me so much of like it was like either the first or second Infinity Blend that Odell did. I don't. I don't think there's any difference on the nose between the two. I blanked out. Did he say something about Odell? <laughs> I'm sorry. I. I'm totally zoned out there for a minute. <clears throat> this has so much of the old Forester kind of profile, but it's not it's not old Forester. Like it it that banana is there. Oh the I was gonna say the, the banana is super prevalent in this one. But it's like lighter, a little bit more yeah, candy yeah. forward. Yeah. It's not like baking goods. It's like a banana laffy taffy. Yeah. That yeah, really, really is. Really, yeah. Like just whatever that is, it's like a banana uh, laffy taffy. Uh, there's a little there's a good little oak spice right on the front too, which like just I like. It's just a little bit, not like There's a little bit on the nose too. If you were just smelling an ice cream sundae with a banana in it, like I feel like you get the mixture of that banana with some of the sweet notes of like vanilla ice cream, maybe yes. like a little like strawberry yeah. sauce yeah. or something, you know, chocolate sauce. It's way sweeter than this one. Great point. I was actually gonna say, this is like the sweetness version compared to a little bit like a darker version over here. Like it's just like, yeah. You obviously can tell it's similar, yeah, but at yeah. the same time in the profile, yeah. but it's just like they went different directions. One and even the right, nose is similar in left, the profile, all like that. all of it is. It, I mean, the yeah. finish is the only thing that I think is kind of different. Mm, I mean, I think it's different all the way through. It's just no, like, no, it's all different. Just the subtleties of it. I'm not saying that it's well, not different. It, I'm the saying, foundation of them yeah. are the same. So do you want to go back, back again or do... I mean, I don't think I need Are to. you good? Okay. I think so. Which one are you picking? Uh, well, first off, do you think they're both good, bad, whatever? Oh, I like them both. Okay. Honestly, I like them both. Uh, they they accomplish two different things to me. I if think I, so, too. If I was in a mood for um, something just sweet and kind of light, I would choose this one. Uh, yeah, I kind of agree. Like, just if I was like, man. Or I if know. I was going to be drinking a lot, yeah. I would drink that one. Yeah. You the other one drinks just a little bit more refined. Yeah. And I'm not trying to be snooty about that at all, because I don't know. But, like, this one, to me, I think this one's better. I think they're both really good. Yeah. I think this, I, I'm actually a little surprised, because I'm not typically the biggest fan of Ed Williams' Bottle and Bond. Shocker. You mean early times? Early times, yeah. Bottle and Bond. I'm a big fan of Ed Williams' Bottle and Bond. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I, I, but I'm typically not. Like, I just, yeah. you know, it, I've always said, like, if you give me the option between this and, you know, like an old Forrester Hunter Proof, I just take the old Forrester Hunter Proof. So, mm -hmm. um, true. But I think overall, whichever one this is, it's drank a lot better for me. So, um, but I, I like the one on the right here. I, I guess it would too. be number one. Yeah. Um, to me, like I said, it just drinks more refined. It drinks a little bit more of my profile where I like those darker notes. Those yeah. heavier chocolates yeah. that char. Yeah. So. I, I, I wouldn't hate having a pour of either one of these. That's no. not at all. No. All right. Uh, so number one was 1924. Number two was uh, early times, bottom line. If I had to guess what 
the order would be that would probably be my guess too it, so after the first pour i was convinced i'm like oh that sailed for sure and then after having the second one, i'm like man that's a lot closer than what i thought like to be honest with you guys like i just kind of uh, assumed that the 1924 was gonna kind of blow out the early times uh, i don't think it blows it out i don't think it blows it out either mm -hmm. like i think it's a lot closer so i think people who are actually being like fair about it and saying like is there that big of a difference are you really paying it in that something different i think in one of these cases like it's not like a crazy difference. not like a crazy difference but i do think at the end of the day this is better so take is that it, for yeah, what it is yeah i was gonna say like, is it so much better i don't know yeah um but i am happy that i own each one of these so yeah eh, all in all let's see if you mix them with the mat, what it does to it. Cool. Anyways, does it make it terrible? It <laughs> doesn't make it great. Um, make sure you hit that like, subscribe, notifications button. And uh, let us know in your thoughts or comments below on what you all think about the uh, difference with 1924 and early times. And if you've done it, what have you seen or thought about it? Yeah, for sure. All, all right. right. Till next time. I'll see you. See you.